that's something we're talking about, too. We have temperatures right now that haven't warmed out of the 70s all day long in parts of Gillespie County. Now, it has been a little warmer than that here in the metro area, but really just up to normal, and that only briefly this afternoon. We spent much of the early afternoon hours holding in the 80s. Right now, 96 degrees so far, the high officially at Mabry, 97 at ABIA. I want to show you why the weather was cooler today, especially in the Hill Country. This was the radar at 5 o'clock this morning. I want you to watch it real closely down here. You're going to see a little spin in this precipitation. It is right there. You see that? A little upper level low developed last night. We talked about this and the fact that it could rain in the middle of the night in association with these type of disturbances, and that is exactly what happened. Unfortunately, most of it happened just south of our viewing area down here over the Edwards Plateau, but we did see the benefits from the rain in the form of cloud cover most of the day and holding temperatures in the hill country uh, really well below average. Many of you are not out of the 80s, but unfortunately, that's where most of the rain over the last couple of days has been. Now, yes, you folks need it too, but we didn't get much at all east of Highway 281, very little in the Austin area. But we have seen in the last two days over two and a half inches near Mason. Most locations, though, less, but some one inch amount scattered here and there, not enough to affect our lake levels, unfortunately. Temperatures, though, check this out. It is only 82 degrees right now in Fredericksburg, 88 degrees in the Burnett area. This is the middle of August. It should be 105 right now. 95, 96, 97 degrees around the metro area off to the east. Now, it has been a little warmer. You did get to 100 down here in Fayette County today because you were a little farther away from that rain. Sky still, as you can see live from the Austonian camera, mostly cloudy over the city. It is 94 out at the airport. It's 96 with the mostly cloudy sky. And the winds that are a little breezy, about 9 to 17 miles per hour. Better news in the mold count today, down into the medium category at 612. Around the state, 80s, 90s, uh, 90 over there in the Houston area, 98 degrees down in uh, San Antonio, 104 in Laredo. But again, in the middle of August, we expect to see temperatures much, much warmer than this. Here's that uh, weather map showing where the rain is today. Now, it all dissipated this morning with our little disturbance here. But that disturbance is still in the atmosphere. It's just not generating any rain right now. I think tonight, even after the sun sets tonight, maybe overnight, we might see some shower activity develop right here in our part of the state. Right now, it's all over here between Houston and Shreveport. The nearest shower to Austin right now, though it looks like it could rain outside, nothing more than a sprinkle. The nearest shower of any significance right now is over around the Lexington area in Lee County. So we're not very optimistic that we're going to see anything in the next uh, several hours. But again, maybe over overnight in the vicinity of that little weak upper low that's located pretty much overhead. Now, this is the future for us. Beginning tomorrow, a high out of the Gulf of Mexico is going to start strengthening back to the west. This little low is just going to completely fall apart, and we're expecting little chance for rain and temperatures back into the upper 90s, if not 100 degrees tomorrow. And then after tomorrow, we're looking at temperatures back up at around 100 degrees in many, many areas. Now, these are our overnight low temperatures uh, for tonight. Uh, it's 70s in most locations when you wake up in the morning. Uh, areas that see some rainfall overnight will be a little bit cooler than that. Uh, it's about a 20% chance. Don't get real excited about these rain chances tonight, but we think there will be some. And then tomorrow afternoon, we're going to keep our fingers crossed and try to keep it below the 100-degree uh, mark for uh, one more day, but we will see less cloud cover tomorrow. So I think some places here, while the computer models are saying upper 90s, probably will actually be a little closer to 100. Okay, tonight. Keep your fingers crossed for a rain shower. That will be a possibility late tonight. Low temperature in Austin, about 77. Tomorrow, uh, mostly sunny to partly cloudy. Let's go 98 with south winds at 5 to 15. And here's that seven-day forecast. And after tonight's rain chance, it really doesn't look like much for the next seven days. Temperatures returning to the upper 90s, 100 degrees at times from Friday into next week. And I know I've been saying this for a while now, but the two-week outlook still looks mostly hot and dry right up into a Labor Day weekend.